all right let's complete the task four task four is to create a web app it says that first go and create a resource from the new blade search the marketplace and then look for web from the marketplace search this blade select web app okay so we need to create a web application here so just follow me here let's go to here all services if you want you can look for but i think it's easy to go and search web app it's here marketplace web app click on this one okay it says that we need to create a web app now let's go and look for the details so from the basics tab you need to leave the subscription as is in the resource group pick managed platform and in the name you type image api and then your name okay let's, so subscription i leave as is resource group let's go and select managed platform that we created earlier web application name so i'll call it as image api and then your name i'll just put okay as your and okay what is next next is you go and in the public section select code runtime.net core 3.1 os windows location east us okay let's do this publish code runtime stake.net 3.1 lts os windows location we need to go and pick east us and then okay we need to look for a service plan okay let's go it says windows service plan is to us create new one name as managed plan okay leave suk and size as it is to the default values okay so come down create a new plan managed plan suk and size live as is let's click on monitoring so from the monitoring tab application insight you select no and click on review and create so from here we have to select app enable application insights no click on no click on next next so here you can review if you want and simply click on create review and then click on click on create so basically it will create a backend api for us after that we need to configure the web app okay so just wait for this to happen now you can see your application deployment is underway so we'll just wait for this to happen now you can see it's done your deployment is complete you can also verify from here from the notification bar deployment succeeded go to resource okay now i'll just close this one let's go back to the tasks list so here it says the next task is to configure the web app so what you have to do is select resource group then select managed platform and from there you select image api and then go to the settings from settings section you need to go to the config configuration link okay so just follow me here i'll just close everything now it says that first okay let's go back to the home i have to go to the resource group we have to select our resource group managed platform here i have to look for image api it's here image api okay as your the one we just created and from here i have to go to the settings and then configuration okay here we are now let's go and see what is next now from the configuration link here it is select the application settings tab and then create a new application settings okay then add and edit name settings name is the storage connection string and then in the value box we need to enter the storage connection string that you copied earlier okay so follow me here we need to create a new application setting here now here we need to enter the name i'll just put the name here this is application settings okay let me just go verify oh sorry so we need to go to the okay application settings perfect storage account string and i have to copy the string which we copied earlier connection string okay i'll just copy from here and then paste here deployment slot settings with let's see storage account so leave the deployment slot setting text box to its default value okay so leave this one as is click on okay so now here you can see that we have added a new storage connection string under application settings okay what is next click on okay select save 
and wait for this to happen okay click on save continue it's updating the web application settings it's done now from the web app blad blad go to settings and select the properties link okay in the properties link copy the value of the url okay now let's go here in the web apps set sorry in the web app settings and properties so where do we have properties i'll just close this one image api web app settings i have to look for properties it's here properties and then we need to copy the url so url is here i simply it's very hard to copy i'll copy this way i'll just paste it here so this is our backend api url okay url now we need to deploy asp.net web application to our web api ready so let's go and see how it looks like so this is your backend api now we need to i'll just close this one close now we need to deploy some code okay 